All right, so welcome to my first ever card unboxing. So I had collected baseball cards for probably 10 years as a child, maybe even longer. Um, huge baseball card fan and then got out of it as I got older. Uh, recently, um, as an adult, decided, it, you know, it looked interesting and has changed so much. So I got back into it um, just as the past couple of weeks. Um, shout out to Jab's family who, you know, videos I had discovered um on YouTube and really kind of got me back into the hobby a little bit and really looked like something that it would look like fun to pursue. And so this whole card, you know, case break thing has really been so different to me. It's so eye opening. And so um, obviously I'm not doing case breaks for other people at this point, but um, really just wanted to, to, you know, start recording these just to document, you know, uh, and put up the things that I have and, and maybe sell some of the things that, that I don't want to collect. Uh, so here we go. So Bowman's Best seems to be the hottest thing um, since I've gotten into it in the past two weeks. Uh, so I bought a, a box of Bowman's Best to see what I get. And obviously, you know, Acuna is the one everybody's chasing, um, as well as Otani. So we'll see what we get. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, Bowman's Best uh, mini box um, here from Hall of Fame Cards in Arcadia, California. I tried to, to shop as local as I could, uh, being from Orange County. Um, there wasn't a lot locally that I found, but there is uh, Hall of Fame. Can they ship? So shout out to Hall of Fame cards and Jeb's family. So here we go. Let's take a look and see what we got. The baseball card game has gotten so much different since when I did it when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, just starting uh, really liking it was when the insert craze had just started, and it really hadn't hit the um, hadn't hit the the relic autograph phase at that point. It was mostly just insert sets. And thinking back to like Fleer Flair, I think I used to go to a store called Readmore uh, in my local town where I grew up, and that'd be a place where we got a lot of our packs because we didn't necessarily have a card shop. Uh, immediately close, but Readmore was a was a magazine place. Gosh, if you think back, magazines, there's something you don't uh, see much of anymore. It was purely just magazines, no books, um, and baseball cards and collectibles and comic books and things like that. But it really wasn't a collectibles or a tr card store, a hobby store. It was a magazine store. So it was just down the street from my house. And so I uh, got a lot there. Fleur Flair is where that, um, I remember inserts coming from. Uh, but man, things have changed a lot, but it seems like it's still a fun hobby and obviously still love the game of baseball. So here we go. All right, let's do uh, open both these here really quick just to get the, the wrapping out of the way. Interesting to see the dynamics in baseball cards now with uh, everybody chasing autos and relics. And the stock mark, stock market like, um, you know, way that uh, some of these autos are valued on these rookies. So, obviously, uh, very cool. Let's go ahead and start uh, here. Pack one, Bowman's Best, 2018. See what, uh, see what we get here. First pack here, Iron Judge, Craig Kimbrell, Harrison Bader, Taylor Trammell, and a uh, uh, Walker Bueller. Being a huge Dodger fan, I like that Walker Bueller quite a bit. Justin Verlander, here we go, Verlander, Arenado, uh, Kyle Tucker, Oh, first autograph, Grayson Rodriguez, uh, Baltimore Orioles. Very nice, very nice. Grayson Rodriguez, Baltimore Orioles. Trammell, Casey Mize, best performer, um, Michael Baez, uh, early indications, and a Craig Kimball. Who's Kimball going to sign with? Is he going to get his five-year deal? 
be interesting to see. Looking at all the reports, it looks like uh, Phillies are in wait and see mode to see if they can get a um, Harper or Machado. What about the reports that Harper and Machado don't have an interest in playing in Philadelphia? Maybe their fan reputation is finally coming back to haunt them a little bit. Benefit in a, everything's a positive or a negative. All right, here we go. Brendan Rogers, Jose Abreu, Jack Flaherty, Bryce Harper's Power Producers, and Harrison Bader. Okay. So far, nothing crazy. Next pack up, what do we got? Francisco Lindor, Brian Dozier. Ooh, I see some gold. Uh, Ahmed Rosario, rookie. Here we go, Nolan Gorman, best performers. Gold, 23 out of 50. That's a good hit. That's a really good hit, nice. I like that one. He's one of the, speaking of speculations, he's one of the ones that's kind of on the rise. So that's nice to see. I like that a lot. It's a, it's a good looking card. It's a little bit of a throwback. Reminds me of, uh, that's kind of a 90s look to it. So excited to do that. So we'll get that over there. Perfect. There we go. All right. And the last pack in this mini box. Already got our two autos. So uh, maybe we'll see a parallel though. Um, serial parallel would be nice. Go. So we got Scherzer, uh, Sixto Sanchez, uh, Pedro Martinez, best performers. Here we go. Freddie Freeman out of 250. Very nice. Very nice. Set that aside. And a Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado went to a high school just down the road from where I live. Um, I'm a, a public school administrator and he works in the neighboring or he went to the neighboring district, El Toro High School. Shout out to the Chargers. All right, let's get the second box of this uh, second mini box. Get two more autos. Hopefully, uh, something similar to the last one with that uh, with that Nolan Gorman. All right, here we go. All right, first pack up. There we go. J.P. Crawford, speaking of the Phillies, Cody Bellinger, very nice. Jordan Adams, best performers. Oh, Reese Hoskins out of 150, Philadelphia Phillies. Potential superstar in the making and a Mike Soraka. All right, that's a nice, let me set that, uh, set that Hoskins aside. There we go, very nice, very nice. Nice 150. Nice. All right, here we go. All right, the man. Speaking of me living in Orange County, well, speaking of living in the world of Major League Baseball, Mike Trout, best player in the game, right? Very nice, very nice card. I'm gonna set that aside, even though it's not parallel because I like Mike Trout. Manny Machado, uh, not Johnny Hustle. There we go, Alec Thomas, Arizona Diamondbacks auto. Very nice, very nice, good to see. And Eddie Rosario out of 50. Out of 50, really good serialed card. There we go. And a Tristan Cassis foil. Very nice. Let's set this aside. All right, set aside this one and the Rosario, the auto. I'll throw that Manny over here with the rest of them. Manny Machado. Where's Manny going to end up? Manny going to be a Yankee? Manny going to be a Philly? I know what, Manny's not gonna be a Dodger. I'm a Dodger fan, he's not gonna be a Dodger anymore. But hopefully Bryce Harper will. But not, not in a 10 year, $400 million contract, that's for sure, hopefully. Speaking of the Dodgers, uh, superstar in the making, Walker Bueller, there we go. Justice Sheffield, potential uh, star in the making for the Yankees. Early indicators, Brendan McKay, Tampa Bay. Power producers, Alec Baum, Phillies. And Logan Gilbert, Mariners. Okay. Three packs left on my return to the baseball card collecting hobby. Maybe the flipping hobby, depending on what some of these are worth. There we go. All right. Ended with Logan Gilbert in the last pack and started with Logan Gilbert here. All right, here we go. Tristan Cassis with the Red Sox. 
Mike Soraka, Braves. Chris Bryant, best performers. There we go. And a Jonathan India with the Cincinnati Reds. So we're on a bit of a dry spell now. Had a couple of good packs, and then the well went dry. No numbered cards. Some refractors, but nothing numbered. Here we go. Two left. Two left. Here we go. Starting off with Clint Frazier, rookie for the Yankees. Trey Turner. Trey Turner, Washington Nationals. Another Jonathan India. There we go. Um, a Hilliot Ramos, auto from the San Francisco Giants. Uh, being a Dodger fan, don't love the Giants, but our uh, GM just went to be their director of baseball operations. Shout out to Farhan. So here we go. San Francisco Giants. Very nice. Set that aside. And a Trey Turner to end it, on which we started. A couple of duplicates going on there. All right. Here we go. Last pack of Bowman's Best 2018 box from Hall of Fame Cards, Arcadia, California. Here we go. And starting off with White Sox, Nick Madrigal. The, not very nice base card, but Vladimir Guerrero Jr., right? Son of Vladimir Guerrero from the Expos, Angels. Here we go. Set that aside. Bryce Harper base. Hopefully Los Angeles Dodger Bryce Harper, but again, not $400 million Bryce Harper. Right? There we go. Early indicators, Paven Smith, Arizona Diamondbacks, and Clint Frazier, rookie for the New York Yankees. All right. Very nice. So let's recap some of the hits we got. Do a little recap here. Here we go. Best of the bunch for sure is this uh, Nolan Gorman, uh, best performers, 23 out of 50 auto. Very nice, very nice. Vladimir Guerrero, base card, but still like it. Uh, Heliot Ramos, uh, San Francisco Giants, base auto. Alec Thomas, uh, Diamondbacks auto. Eddie Rosario, Minnesota Twins, 21 out of 50, parallel. Uh, Tristan Casas, Boston Red Sox. Just threw that trout in there because you got to love him being a fan of baseball. Best player in the game. Maybe the best player ever. Time will tell. Reese Hoskins, blue. Philadelphia Phillies. Atlanta Braves, Freddie Freeman at a 250. And our first auto that we got tonight, Grayson Rodriguez, Baltimore Orioles. So there you go. Bowman's best. Uh, once again, follow on YouTube, iCards. I'll uh, be doing some more things here soon. We'll put some of these up on eBay, depending on if I have them in my co new collection or not. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good night.